it's a great honor uh, to uh, to open these sessions uh, for the group. Uh, I think uh, this is a very exciting time for us, or a challenging and exciting time. Uh, what I want to do today is to give you a quick overview of IEEE TEMS. Uh, so let me just bring up my uh, I, uh, opening by, uh, I say a couple of things about myself. Um, uh, as, uh, as the organizer said that I am the president of the TEMS, as well, I am, uh, I was the uh, uh, vice president for computer societies uh, in charge of professional education activity board. And I'm currently on the board of governor for computer society. Um, I'm also a venture capitalist. Uh, I have managed uh, with my partner, uh, a capital fund for investment uh, to uh, disruptive technologies. I uh, was uh, a, a CTO for uh, one of the largest, uh, or the largest security company uh, in Canada. Uh, and I retired maybe 10 years ago. Uh, I have my own consulting company uh, worldwide uh, for power generations, uh, in particular nuclear power generations uh, to China, Australia, Europe. And I'm on advisory board for many of the uh, United Nations uh, agencies. Now, many of you are IEEE uh, members. Uh, we do have uh, 10 regions around the world. Uh, in TENS, if you see the, the big pie area, uh, the blue area is region 10. It's our uh, largest regions. Uh, followed by region eight and region six. Even though region 10 is big, um, the population also is uh, a huge and uh, uh, large numbers. And I think there's a lot of potential for us to grow in region 10 area. In terms, uh, our tagline is leaders enabling products and services for good. So. For us, um, there is five focus area that we focus on. Uh, one is moving product services from idea to the market. Uh, and all of you are probably in that uh, in that area, had a good idea, but you didn't know how to get it uh, become a product and how do you make it uh, to become marketable. Uh, a product can be service, uh, it can be marketed in sales. And for the large corporations, we help them identify and implement in successful projects and systems. Many of the enterprise systems and large scale uh, major capital projects uh, require uh, very in depth experience and, and knowledge. Many of our members uh, are doing research researches uh, in those areas. We also help the company and the uh, corporations uh, to uh, integrate the technologies and capability. Uh, not the technology development itself, but how do you deploy technologies? How do you manage technologies? And how do you maximize the productivity within the corporations? Uh, more importantly, we, uh, we as, as the community, we try to grow engineers to leaders. Um, engineers, uh, the best engineer doesn't make the best leaders. It requires many soft skills, uh, many working experiences, uh, and we have uh, uh, many, many seasoned uh, uh, professional uh, that would uh, help mentoring uh, different aspects of uh, engineering development and advancement. Uh, more importantly, uh, our uh, our members uh, are focused on balancing the norm between society, government, and regulations. So, looking at the technology, how does that balance all the needs of societies? How do you, how do you comply to the government regulations? So, those are five areas. Our members maintain essential uh, engineering management skills. They support leader, we support the leadership career with career with uh, uh, with many tools 
researchers' findings, uh, conferences, events uh, to actually members. And we foster the knowledge between academia and industries. Uh, so that's a pretty big gap. Uh, and uh, ten, this is one of the 10 strengths is we have composed a lot of industries, uh, uh, practitioners, executives, uh, to gap with, uh, as well as with a large number of academias. So the TEMS members are the next generations of leaders. We manage engineering in organization, 3D product innovations and design. And we effectively move the product from, from conceptions to the market. Wow. Within TEMS, let me just move this away. Within TEMS, we have four vice presidents uh, and four, four areas. Uh, and many of them are here today are supporting me, um, starting with conference events. That's uh, Sudindra Kozik, and he will also, uh, he's also a keynote today. We also have membership marketing and communications, vice president, that's Ravi Kiran Anaswari. And we also have the publication and magazines, uh, vice president, and at the end of Gus Gaynor, so that's Ravi, and that's Gus. Um, for those who don't know, Gus is 99 years old young this year. He's one of the oldest members, uh, and he's been uh, in the industry for the longest time and serving in the uh, in our communities. Uh, we have a new VP. His name is Rich Evans in technical activities. Speaking of technical activities, I think that's one of the area where uh, most of you uh, young uh, professional and uh, academia students uh, can find your uh, your passions and your interests. Um, we bring together uh, people with a special interest group uh, to form a uh, special interest group uh, and technical committees. Right now, we have global standard for decentralized AI. I'll talk a bit about this here because this is. This is something very unique for TEMS, uh, really addressing the, the, the need of the industries. I call them Industry 4.0, and I'll talk to that in the next slide. We also have a group that focus on technology for good. And that is uh, one of the fine examples is that we partner with uh, United Nations uh, ITU, uh, and that's International Telecom Unions. Uh, to uh, to to uh, for the conference they have called AI for Goods in Geneva, and we bring our members who specialize in AI uh, technologies for good uh, to present their paper uh, during the conference or just before the conference. We have a group that focuses on design and engineering processes, and, and more importantly, we have a group that focuses on uh, equity partnership and minority the for the inclusiveness uh, nowadays i think that's one of the very uh, major issues around the world uh, we're starting two more uh, uh, activity technical activity um, one is really our strength uh, it's entrepreneurships and innovations we have a large uh, number of members that is in entrepreneurship areas and a lot of members are innovation researchers. We also started a student activities uh, committees to to provide uh, uh, some of the uh, events like a hackathon uh, to cater to the students need uh, and, and the student development. Uh, so different awards, different competitions uh, we're starting to organize that uh, with two or three uh, Director of uh, Innovation. Now, I mentioned Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 really is, is, it started probably four or five years ago in the uh, World Economic Forum. Uh, what it is recognizing is that the industry is now moving into 
uh, not just the technologies, it's technologies bringing light, bring to light, uh, and not just technology by itself. Uh, it's actually fusion the technology, such as with AI and blockchain. How do you make AI distribute the right world, uh, not centralized in the big machines? Uh, so those are uh, many interesting areas, and that is a huge uh, uh, topics and there was a lot of uh, conferences and and many of our conferences uh, have industry form a uh, focus on industry 4.0. Uh, we did that uh, last year in uh, two or three of our conferences. The industry forum was focused on industry 4.0. We have a lot of good discussions uh, and bringing the industry people to bring their issues and, and, and uh, their pain point uh, to the researchers. The other area I want to focus on, uh, highlight on, as I mentioned, is the entrepreneurship. Uh, we we do in uh, in camps. Uh, our entrepreneurship programs uh, activities uh, uh, embedded uh, in our conferences. Uh, last year, uh, in uh, Temps Conference 2019 in in uh, Atlanta, we have pitching contest uh, startup uh, in, in, in those innovation centers in uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, came and participate in the top 10 for com competitions. And we and we award winners uh, during, during the conference. And that was very exciting for the young student and young professional that has a great idea to shine. Uh, last year, I also invited to the largest event in IEEE called Slingshot 20 South, uh, 2019 in Singapore, uh, judging the top 100 uh, startup uh, out of thousands uh, in uh, in Singapore, and IEEE is a partner. Entrepreneurship is partner called IEEE uh, Next or N3XT. And the winner, one of the winner, was the robotic arm. Uh, the winner of uh, of the contest uh, received uh, close to a million dollars of uh, uh, prizes uh, and, uh, and equivalent values. So it was very much well attended and it's co uh, cooperative with the uh, Singapore government. On the other expand, at the other uh, extreme, uh, we also focus on uh, developing world. Uh, we partner with uh, uh, IEEE Smart Villages, uh, which uh, has a project to bring uh, electricity and technologies to those area that is uh, uh, being developed uh, in the third world countries. Uh, we have many projects and we collaborate with them. Our strength is an enterprise uh, education. Uh, that was two areas that we contribute significantly uh, with uh, uh, IS, uh, we call them ISV. Uh, and uh, we try to create uh, entrepreneurship so that they can create employment sustain their business uh, in electricity and education. Here are many projects that we did uh, in uh, both in in uh, Africa uh, and in India as well as uh, South America. If you see that, I think there's about six projects going on right now in India. And some of our members are involved in it. Uh, supporting those projects, all those projects provide electricity to the original electricities. Uh, so it's, it's another very exciting uh, aspect of the uh, aspect of work. We also participate in uh, one of the largest uh, uh, innovative uh, project managers uh, award. We currently are working on MOU with uh, the Dubai government, Dubai, uh, and there uh, the uh, to uh, for uh, competitions in project management, uh, individually or by corporations, and uh, it was uh, it was uh, last December uh, when we started to working with with them to uh, uh, to sign an MOU to support their uh, so our member can participate in those uh, competitions. So to come in conclusion, I just wanted to say that. Uh, we are very fortunate that we have a very strong team in India, and they are now one year in anniversaries. Uh, and the India team has done extremely uh, uh, 
successful uh, in growing terms uh, in getting our uh, our our value uh, and our our offering out uh, to many of the academia and industries. And there's a little video, but I'm not too sure if it's uh, if it's playable. Uh, some come through, but I'll do it quickly. It's a one second, one minute video. Uh, we started campaign campaign called "I Love Tanks," uh, and this is a part of our first anniversary. Uh, I love them. 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 I love I to believe them. I love them. I love them.